Life changed quite quickly for me last fall, and it felt like I was thrown into a sea of darkness full of unknowns and uncertainties, expected to keep on living life while it felt like I was drowning. But instead of fighting it, I decided to welcome the darkness, embrace it for what it was, and feel all the feelings that came with it. Fear, loss, grief, anger, basically everything uncomfortable, and what the world tends to tell us to keep bottled up. But by taking time away to deeply feel these emotions, I was able to make peace with my situation and find my way back to the shoreline. Once I found my footing again, I was able to step into the next chapter of my life with all of those emotions still with me, but with a peace and a gratitude for the newfound strength that they provided. And now I've been living alone for four months, and it feels like my life is more vibrant than ever before. So if you've ever experienced a major life change that left you learning to be on your own again, then join me for the next little while. I wanted to share a few things that I've been learning these past few months in hopes to encourage and inspire others with similar experiences. Being alone doesn't have to be lonely. Living alone means that you're going to be the one person that you're going to be spending all of your time with. So instead of constantly filling your time with the lives of others or wishing your life was different than it is, take time to befriend yourself. I promise you might find that you really enjoy the company. I am the definition of an introvert. My whole life, I have often preferred being alone and just naturally learned to enjoy my own company. Sometimes to my own detriment though, as it was often fear-based rather than a true desire. There are many moments I look back on in my growing up that I wish I would have cared less about what others thought of me and just jumped into experiences with friends with abandon, and I didn't. And I've had to learn from the regret of missing out on those moments. But even though I've had a lot of experience being alone or being in my own company, living alone out in the middle of nowhere is a whole new level of alone for me. And surprisingly, I haven't felt lonely at all. And I think that is because I've spent so much of these past few months really trying to invest in my own well-being, falling in love with the person I am, tending to this garden I am now growing that will not only bring beauty to the rest of my own life, but will be able to bring beauty to those around me, and one day the person I hope to share this life with. There's this quote I found recently that encompasses what I'm trying to express. It said, the person you become when you are on your own is a garden you will carry with you forever. Use the quiet. Even if every single thing works out the way you want it to, you have to wake up with yourself every day. You have to know who you want to be. You are worthy of your own love. You are worthy of investing your own time into tending to your garden and blooming into the incredibly beautiful person that you are.
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold ring that living alone requires intentionality. Intentionality with your time, with your relationships, and with your own health and well-being. Especially since I work from home and am my own boss, it really is important for me to be intentional with my time and create a work-life balance that works for me. Now this is something I'm still trying to cultivate, but I'm thoroughly enjoying figuring it out and making it a point not to make myself feel guilty or stressed if it isn't what I thought it would be yet. I am also trying to learn to be intentional with the simple daily things like eating, (laughs) trying to be intentional about making my meals and making it a moment to enjoy. Never have I ever danced around the kitchen singing into a spatula until now, but I am not going back. I love that I am finding new sides to myself where I feel more and more free to be me without fear or shame. I also have been trying to be intentional with how I fill my time. Instead of filling my evenings with hours of screen time, I have been trying to learn new things like playing piano, writing poetry, and reading. I cannot tell you the amount of joy and fulfillment this has brought me. And I encourage you to find something new to learn too.
Finally, the last thing I wanted to share that I've been learning is that living alone requires embracing fear head on. I'll be honest, I was terrified of moving into the cabin all alone. I was terrified of walking these back trails by myself, constantly picturing these worst case scenarios I created in my head. Every day I would take Cedar for his walk and I would be in a complete panic, heart racing, constantly looking over my shoulder and my surroundings. Every unfamiliar noise would fill me with anxiety, but I kept doing it. Every day, I would come back and walk out here, and now I long for the time of day when I get to walk out here. I feel so much peace, and I feel so safe. I know this is a small example, but it proves to me that you are capable of doing hard things and conquering the fears that you have. I know it can feel so scary, but you can do it. You just have to truly believe in yourself and make the daily choice of meeting your fear head on. I'll end with this quote from Mira Lee Patel from her book, My Friend Fear. She says, Being brave, being courageous is not living life without great fear. It's seeing fear clearly and living a greater life with it beside you. It's breathing deeply and allowing your fear to breathe the same air. It's knowing that you aren't alone, even if no one is next to you. It's realizing that you have the power to choose which fears will guide you and which are better left behind.